Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeff from GIS Chops. Today I'm going to help you be a little more efficient in ArcGIS Pro, try to take some of that frustration and pain away from transitioning from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro. One of the frustrating things I found with Pro was when I would open a new project, all of my database connections were gone. I had to add them to each project. And that was the case until they updated things and made it possible to carry those things across from project to project. I'll show you how to do that. So in this project, I've got a few connections. This is the home file geodatabase. Then I have here a GIS server. I know it says .gdb on there, and it's not a server, but I don't have a server, so I'm just pretending that that file geodatabase is a server. And then I have this important file geodatabase. Now, if I come down here, launch pro again. A few moments later. Start a new project. Call it test. Now if I expand my databases, it just has the home geodatabase for this project. So the connections I need all the time didn't come across to this new project. Well, they got around that by adding this Favorites tab. Let's close this new project. Don't need to save it. Now if I come here to this project's catalog pane, and I right-click on my GIS server, I can come here and say Add to Favorites. And the same with uh, this important file geodatabase, add to favorites. Now when I start a new project, a few moments later, we'll call this one test three. I expand my databases and it still only has the home file geodatabase, but I come up here to the favorites tab, and there's my GIS server. I can right click that and say add to project. Same with Important File Geodatabase. And now I go to the Project tab, and there in my databases are those things. And you might have to right-click this and refresh, or have it selected and come up here and say Refresh to get those to show up. So that's how you're able to carry across some database connections. And it works for folders, too. If you noticed, I've got a GIS folder in my favorites. Now, while editing this video, I happened to notice this little option right here that would shortcut this whole thing. So I apologize that this video is longer than it should be, but I saw this and I thought this is easier than what I'm describing here. So you can still add those things to favorites, but with this option, they can be automatically added to new projects without having to go to favorites and add them to the current project. Sorry about that. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. Now what makes that possible is Esri has a file that it keeps track of all that stuff. It keeps track of your customizations. Like I've got some keyboard shortcuts that carry over from project to project. All that stuff carries over because Esri has a file with all that stuff in it. ArcMap had a file called normal.mxt. In ArcGIS Pro, that file is called user config, and I found this in the help documents. It shows you where that file is located and what it contains. Sometimes in ArcMap, my map would get really slow and I would delete that normal.mxt and it would speed things up a bit. And I've heard that that's the same thing in ArcGIS Pro. If you're experiencing some slowness in response and other things, you might want to try backing up that file, deleting it, and see if that speeds things up when you open that same project. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. Watching my videos to the end really helps me out. It gets YouTube to show my content to viewers like you. Be sure to like the video, comment below, comment with anything that you found helpful in this video. Let me know what you liked. Share it with your friends and your colleagues, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It'd really help me make more content like this. And something else that would help me out, I'm right now in the middle of a class and I'm trying to get some interviews done. I have to interview 50 people about their experiences with GIS, maybe some of their frustrations, some of their pain in learning GIS. And I'd like to talk to you. So if you want to head on over to Instagram, follow me on Instagram, at GIS Chops. It's up there in the corner. Go follow me, send me a direct message, and I'll send you a link to my schedule. I'd really like to talk to you face to face. That'd be really cool. We'll do it through a Zoom meeting. And watch this video. Thanks. See you next time.